It's the Red Shore season finale. Lining up behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Great, great working with you, Vance, this afternoon on a beautiful day. Up to you for the call. And as they line up to close down historic summer side here for the 2022 season. Good way to end it. Pineapple Express, Jetster Jeb, Wims Drop Off, Spack Jero, Lions Jenny Lee, O oh, to be me, Fernhill Dynamic up front. And we've got a trailer to close it out. That is JK Cowboy. It's the Fall Challenge Series. The rough and facing in Jeb, the first one away. Jetster is second. Spack Jero comes from the outside third. Pineapple Express is fourth around the turn to get away fifth. That is J.K. Cowboy. Racing from six as Wims drop off. Lions Jenny Lee seventh. Then Old to be me and the trailer is Fern Hill Dynamic. Their quarter pole bound led by Jeb and the Blue Knight use. Second, that is Jetster. Racing from third is Pineapple Express. Spack Jero in a whole heap of trouble here. Parked out on the outside, a racing fourth. Opening quarter tripped in 28 seconds flat. Midway round the panic turn for the first time they go. Jeb is the leader on Jetster. From the outside, Spack Gerald third. In at the rail fourth is Pineapple Express. Upon the outside fifth, that is J.K. Cowboy. Racing from six is Wims drop off. Now Fern Hill Dynamics seventh. Lions Jenny Lee is eight. The trailer ninth. That is old to be me. They move on by the opening half mile. Jeb got him halfway home in 57 and four. Racing second. And that is Jetster laying on the outside. Spack Jero third. Racing fourth. And to get a breather at the rail is J.K. Cowboy. Now fifth is Wims drop off. Between horses, Pineapple Express. Fern Hill Dynamic three wide. He's seventh. Lions Jenny Lee is eighth. Oh, to be me on the outside ninth. Down to a quarter of a mile left to go. Jeb is still there from the outside. Spack Jero, what a trip from him. Three quarters in one. Twenty. Six and four. Eight of a mile left to go. Jeb will bring him home. Spack Jarrow lives on the outside. Jetster along the rail. Third in deep stretch now. And Jeb has come to play here in Summerside. And the Blue Knight use put him on top at every call. Jetster was second. Third will go to Spack Jarrow. Time for the mile. One fifty six. Two. Here comes the slow-mo replay for the finale here this afternoon. And we saw Jeb go right down the road today. 28, 57 and four. Roll to three quarters, 126 and four, and he gets the job done for the third time this season. Win number 39 of his career, 156 and two the mile here this afternoon. Up for second is the two, Jetster for third, the five, Spack Jero. In there for fourth is the six, Lions Jenny Lee, and Vance, one more horse for me, and I would have had that super high five today because I had the super factor. If it was a, if it would have been a super factor, just can't seem to do it. But we'll see Jeb in the Woodmere Standard Bread's Winter Circle next. There goes Jeb to the Woodmere Standard Bridge Winners Circle here in race 11, pacing Black Stallion 10 by Cam Luck. 
off the Western Hanover Dam Keystone Treasure. Owned by Robbie Hughes, Blair and Eric McLaughlin, the Blue Knight, Jason Hughes, training and driving. And for Jason, his second driving win on the day for the double. Excellent trip on the veteran pacer, 156 and 2. Jeb captures the PEI Harness Racing Industry Association Fall Challenge Series Final in the 11th. 